Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne. Today I want to show you how to take a screenshot on the Moto G Stylus 5G 2023. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Um, the first way is you can do it using the exterior button. So holding down on the power and the volume down button for one second will trigger a screenshot just like this. So again, power, volume down. I'm going to hold it for one second and then let it go. Watch this. Hold. There you go. There's our screenshot. We can then tap on it to see a preview of what the screenshot looks like. And you'll have some editing controls here. If you need to, for example, crop the picture, you can drag from the corner to, you know, shorten the area you want to crop. You also have a pen tool you can use to circle things on the screen, or you have some other options uh, to the right here. When you're all done, you can delete that screenshot by tapping the trash can, or you can hit the, the share button to send it right to someone via text or email, or simply hit the checkbox to have it go right to your uh, Google Photos. Now, another way to take a screenshot is by using your stylus pen. We're just gonna push to make that pop out. And then every time you take out the pen, it's going to trigger this menu. If you tap on this first option here, it'll also trigger a screenshot. And as we tap on the screen, again, we can use that uh, stylus pen to write notes or to circle different things or draw an arrow. So super convenient. And same thing, when you're all done, hit that check. It will save to your Google Photos. Now, if you're not a big fan of Google Photos, I wanna recommend another app that I think you'll like. If you go to the Play Store and you do a search for an app, just type in gallery and now there's a lot of gallery apps, but this specific one is my favorite and it's actually a Google, let's say uh, another Google app. So go to the uh, search and we're just gonna type in gallery. And you wanna look for this app right here. This is a new gallery app that is made by Google. And this is not tied to the cloud. So for those of you that have uh, used Google Photos before, uh, Google Photos is tied to the cloud and normally they are trying to get you to sign up for their auto backup so it saves your pictures online. If you're someone who doesn't want to save your photos online, you just want to be able to look at them on the phone, then you'll love this app here. Now we hit the home button. Let's give it a few seconds to download, but then we'll hit the home button and um, we'll swipe up. And we're gonna see that app is gonna show up in this menu in a few minutes or you know, a few seconds, it usually downloads pretty quickly. Um, and then um, we're gonna be able to use that gallery app instead of the Google Photos app, um, just in case you're looking for something a little bit simpler to use. We'll give it a minute to download. I just wanna show you real quick. Um, if you don't care about what app you open the photo in, you just wanna see it, you're gonna to go to this app, which is Photos or Google Photos. And the first time you open the app, it should ask you, hey, do you want to save your photos off uh, online? And do you want them to auto back up? So you can, you can hit turn on. That will automatically save your photos online in the cloud. Um, and you can always access them from the website photos.google.com. If you're someone who says, hey, I don't want to back up my photos. I just want them on my phone. You can simply hit do not back up. And then, um, we can, this is another option. I'm not too familiar with this. I'm just gonna hit don't allow. And you'll notice when we open the app, hey, where's the picture I just took? Well, you'll need to come to the right here and tap on the libraries tab. And this is where you'll see all the photos that have been taken only on the phone. And here it has created a folder for us called screenshots. And that's where you're gonna find the picture that we just took right here. Now, when you swipe up, it's gonna take you to your app section. And here's the app we just downloaded, it's called Gallery. Again, it's a simplified version of that Google Photos app. And guess what? You don't have to navigate between library and all those other options. It's just a very basic photo gallery and this will make it a bit easier for you to navigate between the different photos. So anyway, kind of a long video, um, but Wanted to demonstrate the process for you to take a screenshot on your Moto G Stylus 5G 2023. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always,
Have a good one.